Hi everyone, my name is Matt Aquilino with Nexus Baseball, and this is Quick Hit, where I quickly cover your questions about hitting mechanics and technique. Previously, we looked at the hitting kinetic chain, and to recap, it is from the ground and the feet, through the legs, hips, torso, shoulders, arms, and hands. We also discussed how hitting mechanics at its most basic is figuring out how to get the most out of this kinetic chain to safely develop bat speed. The baseball swing and hitting mechanics are overly complex due to all of the moving parts and most hitting mechanics discussions break the hitting motion down into stride, swing, and follow through, with different subphases of each. This results in too many individual components and looks at these parts individually rather than as a cohesive whole. Each is described to be distinct and drills are created to look at elements of each. I believe that there, this is too complex and granular approach and misses the big picture of hitting mechanics. Instead, to simplify these phases in the Nexus programs, I describe the baseball swing instead as occurring in three phases, preload, load, and drive. The first is the preload phase, where the body is set up in the right position to best enter the next phase with balance. This can incorporate a leg kick element to get to that position if comfortable for the hitter. The next phase is the load phase, where the body loads itself to generate potential energy to be used in the final phase. This is the phase where the body is coming forwards towards the target, but drive rotation has not yet begun. The final phase is the drive phase, where potential energy is converted into force and the swing occurs. Anything that occurs after the ball has been hit is the follow through, and there's no cueing involved whatsoever, as the form of the follow through will, will be entirely dependent on what occurred in the preceding three phases. What this does for us is create a simpler setup we can more easily visualize. It is also entirely logical, as it allows you to segregate and focus on setup, the best way to generate potential energy, and then the release of that energy into the baseball through the bat. We will be using this terminology as we discuss the different elements of hitting mechanics in this series. In the next quick hit video, I will be looking at how the baseball swing is like a punch. Remember, if you like the content, please subscribe. See you next time at Nexus Baseball.